بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد when we get sick and we go to the doctor usually he provides a prescription and many times we have so much yaqeen in that prescription that inshallah I'll take this medication and everything will be fine we don't realize that majority of the problems that we are suffering or we are going through today there is a remedy in the Quran, there's a remedy in the Sunnah of Rasulullah. The biggest problem is that today we have lost trust and we lack yaqeen and conviction in the ayat of the Quran and in the Sunnah and the practices of Rasulullah. Today, one question that many people ask is that, you know, there's problems at home, there's problems going on in my life, and especially when it comes to the family, there's so much, you know, anger, there's so much issues going on home. When I go to sleep at night, I'm thinking about so many things. I want to protect myself. So today I want to share with you, for first of all, I want to share with you two important stories that we learned from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The very first one is a story narrated by Abdullah ibn Ubay ibn Ka'ab. So this is the son of Ubay ibn Ka'ab, a man who was well versed in the Quran. This is his son, Abdullah, who is telling us the story that my father told me that one time, he had a vessel which he had dates in it and he would put it at night and when he would wake up in the morning he noticed that the dates were depleting and there was no one coming to getting the dates so he said that at that night i decided to stay awake and keep a close eye on who is coming and getting these dates he says that night i noticed someone coming i noticed something coming and he mentions abdullah is telling the story of his own father that it looked like a beast. At the same time, it looked like an adolescent boy. So he caught hold of him. Ubay ibn Ka'ab caught hold of him and he says, that what are you? Are you human? Are you jinn? What are you? He says, I'm a jinn. So he says that, show me your hand. And Ubay ibn Ka'ab is telling the story. He says that when he put out his hand, it looked like a dog's paw with dog fur. So he says, do all the jinn look like this? And he says, no. He says, I am the most powerful of all the jinn. Then he says that, how can we make sure that you don't... He says, why do you come here at night? That's the second question. He says that we heard that you are a very generous man. You give a lot of sadaqah and you have so much, so we came to take some from you. Then he says that, what can I do to protect myself from you in the future? And he says that every single night before you go to sleep, recite Ayat al-Kursi. That the next morning he went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the Prophet ﷺ says that indeed, though this person was a liar, he told you the truth. Another story. The Prophet ﷺ, one time he had, you know, in Ramadan, he would collect zakat. So he appointed Abu Huraira to, to look over that wealth. That night, someone came and they began to take some of that wealth. So Abu Huraira caught hold of him. And he says, I'm going to take you to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, no, please do not take me. I have a family, I have kids and so forth. Please let me know, let me go. So he says, okay, I'll let you go this time. Next morning, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked, Oh Abu Huraira, I heard that there was a prisoner. You caught hold of a prisoner. What did you do? He says, oh Prophet of Allah, he complained. I had pity over him in his situation. I let him go. The Prophet sallallahu says that he'll be back again tonight. That same night, again he came. Again, he tried to take some of that wealth. Again, Abu Raira radiallahu anhu caught hold of him. He says, I'm going to take you to the Messenger of Allah. He says, please, I will not do it again. Just let, let me go. The, uh, Abu Raira radiallahu anhu let him go. Next morning, same thing happened as day one. Then again, the Prophet says, he's going to be back again tonight. That same night, again, for the third time he comes, and he says, he's getting some wealth, and he says, I'm going to take you to the Prophet of Allah this time. He says, you told me, you will not come again. Yet again, you're here in the masjid, try and take some of this wealth. He says, don't, don't take me. He says, I'll teach you something. He goes, what are you going to teach me? He says that I'm going to teach you that every single night before you go to sleep, recite ayat al-kursi, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you from the shayateen. The next day again, he goes to the Prophet sallam. The next day he says to the Prophet sallam, that this is exactly what happened. He says to Abu Huraira radiallahu an, that though this person is a liar, he deceives others, but he told you the truth. He told you the truth. And then the Prophet ﷺ, he revealed to him that that one was shaitan. So the point is this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this ayat al-kursi is just one example 
that we can use to protect ourselves, our family, and so forth. But yet very seldomly do we use these kind of ahadith, do we use these kind of stories to inspire us, ourselves, to really apply these teachings of the Qur'an and the ahadith in our life. We all, majority of us, know Ayat al-Kursi. But how many of us do we actually recite it? The Prophet ﷺ tells us that anyone who recites Ayat al-Kursi after the Fard Salat, whether you are praying at home, whether you are praying inside the masjid, if there is anything that will protect you, if you die before the next Salat, then there is nothing, or every, you will be protected. In short, you will be protected from the fire of Jahannam. We all want to be protected from the fire of Jahannam. Why not? Probably takes you know, 15, 20 seconds max, recite Ayat al-Kursi after the Salat. Many of us, we are such in a hurry to get up after Salat and leave. If we recite this, we are benefiting ourselves. And not only that, but we find also the Prophet ﷺ sitting with Ubay ibn Ka'b and asking him, what is the greatest ayah of the Qur'an? And multiple times, out of humbleness, out of respect, he says, Allahu wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Allah and His Messenger know best. Then he says, Ayat al-Kursi is the greatest ayah of the Qur'an. To which the Prophet Sallallahu he made dua for him and he told him that mashallah he has a great amount of knowledge. So this is why brothers and sisters, this is a very beautiful dua. Many of us know, but why not recite it at night? Read it upon yourself, read it upon your children. Your children have probably not memorized it. Recite it, blow it on them, blow it on them. Sometimes they go through night tremors, they go through night, you know, they see nightmares and so forth. This will inshallah protect them. Not only that, but when we recite Ayat al-Kursi in our homes, then inshallah today, all the fighting, all the bickering, all the unease that we go through at our homes, inshallah, all of that will be eliminated. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from amongst those who apply these ayat and these teachings in our life. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.